Hey everyone, I don't normally do reviews like this, but I felt compelled to. Firstly, because some of my clients keep asking. And secondly, because this product, I feel, has been an absolute game changer for my work. So if you couldn't tell already by the title, this is a product review for the Creality K1C. It's a high-speed 3D printer capable of using carbon fiber infused materials. For a bit of backstory, I'm not an influencer, I'm a designer. I own and run a product design consultancy, and this is one of my go-to tools for almost each and every project, and it's been with me for the last year. So why did we originally buy it? As a small studio working on anything from product development to prototyping all the way through to manufacturing, we needed a printer that could really speed up the design workflow and just make our processes more efficient. It needs to be fast, reliable, and able to handle a variety of materials. The K1C promised all that, and over the last year, it has delivered. So what's so great about the K1C anyway? I'd say it's the ease and convenience of use. The Wi-Fi uploads make it super easy. There's no SD cards, there's no USBs, and there's a touchscreen interface if you really need to, and that's pretty clean and intuitive. We use our 3D modeling software of choice to create our designs. We import them into the slicer, and then direct to the machine. Simple as that. The built-in camera is surprisingly handy. We use it all the time to remotely check on the build progress and catch any issues before they happen. This helps to reduce material waste. Thankfully, these have been uh, very few. Then there's a the speed. This thing prints up to 600 millimeters per second, so you go from CAD to physical prototype like crazy fast. Sometimes we'll put a print on in the morning before coffee, and then it's done before lunch. This really speeds up our design process. Not to mention the material versatility. We've printed PLA, TPU, PETG, but our favorite by far is carbon fiber infused PLA. It's strong, it's fast, the prints are clean, and it holds up to real world use. The direct drive all material extruder is made of some special sort of titanium alloy. It can reach temperatures of up to 300 degrees C without any problems. So you can pretty much run any material you like in it without ever having to change a nozzle. Here's some of the other features I've come to really appreciate. So I'd just like to highlight them. Firstly, auto bed leveling. This saves a ton of time and you get the perfect first layer every time. We've had an older machine that doesn't have auto bed leveling and that one never gets used anymore. Secondly, filament runout detection. This saves many prints. It's got a little opto sensor in there. So as soon as the filament runs past it, it pauses the print and it just sits and happily waits for you to reload and carry on. And finally, the flexible PIE build plate. This makes removing parts really, really easy. We've used the K1C now for product enclosures, mechanical mockups, even one-off parts for clients. The reliability has meant that we can confidently integrate it into our design workflows. It's not a tool we use occasionally, it's a tool we use every day. But it's not all perfect. There are a few minor annoyances that are worth mentioning. Firstly, the material changes. This still has to be done manually. If you're switching between filaments regularly, especially carbon fiber and something softer like TPU, it adds a bit of time to the workflow. The way we normally do it is to group similar materials and similar parts together to make it more efficient. I guess the long-term solution would be to have multiple machines, each running an individual material, but we don't currently have capacity for that sort of thing. And the build plate. While the adhesion is really solid, especially with some of the stronger filaments, the glue stick residue can build up on it, so you do need to give the build plate a proper wash down every now and again, just to keep things clean and running smoothly. Neither of these are a deal breaker, but we do have to make sure we factor them into our 3D printer running routine. So to sum up, if you're a designer, a maker, or just running a small creative studio like us, the Creality K1C is definitely worth a serious look. Its print speed is fast, it's flexible with the different materials, it's cheap, and it's really reliable. We've had this one for over a year, and we wouldn't want to live without it. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments section and we'll try and get back to you. 
And, you know, if there's enough interest, we'll add another video.